Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance, and we're talking about the power of alignments. And now in your setup, where you're getting started to hit the golf ball, how important it is to create the right alignments so that you can stay coordinated and in powerful positions to hit that golf ball. We're going to start out with the shaft and its alignment to the body. We want to make sure that the shaft in a neutral position is pointed somewhere around the center of your hips. So basically like so. If it's slightly forward for short irons, that is fine based on ball position and then slightly less forward for the long irons and your driver, it would definitely be a little bit pointed back again towards the center of your hips. But because the ball is forward, the shaft will have some backwards lean to it with your driver. So we want to make sure that we have the shaft to the center of your hips, belt buckle. The next one is going to be the alignment of your elbows to your body. And based on the heel pad pressure in your grip, if you just put your hands together as a little exercise, as the palms are together and you push the, the heels somewhat together, you will find your elbows pinch inward and they should point directly down towards your hip sockets. So that's a very important alignment to coordinate the body and the arms and allow the arms to stay connected during the golf swing. So that's really important that you do that. Then we have the set of alignments for aiming. And obviously we want the club face to aim perpendicular to our target. And then we have the set of alignments from your feet, your, your knees or thighs, your hips, and your shoulders. So this set of alignments needs to be parallel to your line of play as best as possible. We know that when we put the right hand on the grip, it forces the right shoulder to work out towards the golf ball a little bit more or open the shoulders a little bit. So our body, in particular our spine, needs to tilt to the right approximately two to three degrees. So instead of being straight at 90, I'll do it from behind. There's 90. I'm taking my hold. I just tilt this way a little bit. And you can see that my spine is now tilted that way two to three degrees. And again, this may vary ever so slightly with, with the club selection and ball position that you have. The further forward with the driver, you might have four degrees of tilt. With a wedge, you might have only two. And then in between three or thereabouts with your other irons. And then finally, your forward tilt of your spine is an important alignment. And again, we can pretty much cover this off with our setup routine that we gave you earlier. If you follow this structure where the butt of the club always points to the center of your hips, and you make sure that you keep that. When you bend forward, you should have the bend at the correct alignment. So the alignment of your spine to the ground is very important. We're going to keep that alignment pretty steady throughout the back swing and down swing. And we'll just hit one here from this setup. So if you can create good alignments at address, you've solved a lot of what's going to happen in the next three feet and so on and so forth. So we want to make sure that you're aware that these alignments are certainly critical to get the golf club on the right track and keep the arms and the body linked and keep the body connected to the ground. So good luck with that, good golfing, and enjoy the hit.